Hey everybody, I'm Joel Green and welcome to Curiosity Quest, the show that explores what you, the viewer, are curious about. Now today, we got a hot topic. You see, I got a letter from Michael from Owensboro, Kentucky, and he wrote, Dear Joel, I want to learn about firefighters and what it's like to become one. Well, Michael, because of you, we have made our way out here to Irvine, California at the Orange County Fire Authority, where we're going to go through some firefighter training. So let's get started on today's Curiosity Quest. Come on. All right, so I'm here with Greg McEwen. Thank you so much for having us out here. My pleasure. So tell us, first of all, where are we? We're here in Irvine, California. Mm -hmm. It's one of the cities Orange County Fire Authority covers. We cover 22 cities, 550 square miles. Now you have a lot of firefighters that go through training right here in this facility, right? We do. We run our fire academies through here, 18 weeks from beginning to end. And that wow. takes someone for, with no experience, and at the end of 18 weeks, they're trained to be a firefighter. So I'm here today. Can we condense that to one day? We're going to condense it to one day for you today. <laughs> really? Yeah. So what am I going to be doing today? Today we're going to show you some basic firefighter skills, how to search a building, um, some maybe some hazards you might encounter, uh, pull hose and take hose to a to a high rise and, and, and pretend like uh, maybe there, there could be a fire up there Ooh. and we're going to search for a victim and then we're going to have, actually have you fight a fire this afternoon. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hey, with no experience. I'm, I'm, I'm not a firefighter. We're here to help you. We're going to have, you're going to have a partner and uh, two firefighters together so we will get you through it. All right, so what's the first step? for me to learn how to be a firefighter. We're gonna give you some classroom uh, instruction with Captain Steve McHale. Hey, class? I gotta go to class? You gotta go to class. We go to class uh, on a continuous basis and we learn new things every day. Really? Yeah. So being a firefighter, you plan on going to school for a long time, huh? Plan on learning and uh, educating yourself throughout your career, yeah. Okay. And once we come out here and start our training, we want to be wearing our shirt. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. all right, cool. So let's go to the classroom. Cool. Okay. Here's your fun fact. If your house catches on fire, know what to do. Practice your exit drills. The good air is down on the floor. Have a meeting place outside and practice often. All right, so I'm in a classroom with Captain Steve. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about fire safety in the home, exit drills in the home, and a little bit about firefighting. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna put you in a firefighter suit. We're gonna put your breathing apparatus on, put your helmet on, teach you how to breathe out of a mask, and then we're gonna send you into a fire. But before you go into the fire, there's a few things you gotta know. First, you never go in alone. You always go in with two firefighters. You wanna remember that the temperature in the room can be as much as 300 degrees down on the floor. Oh my goodness. And 1200 degrees on the ceiling. I think what we'll do is we'll have you go outside and we'll put your equipment out and we'll have somebody show you what each piece is for. All right. You ready to do it? <laughs> I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Okay, let's do <laughs> Thank it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. All right, so I'm here with my partner, Mike. Here we my, are. My bro, the one that's going to save me, We're help partners me. partners today. We're partners. We're going to get through everything today. That's good. And, and the first step is to we'll put this on, right? Yes, you already went through your classroom portion. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to get you outfitted with all your safety gear. This is what's going to help you and save you and, and protect you from the deadly gases and heat that we're encountered today. <sighs> okay. So, this is where I get a little nervous, but all right. First things first, we're gonna grab our pants and our boot combination. I just gotta show up, my name's right there. It's green. Your pants and boots are up there. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. There's pant boots up here, okay. <laughs> our boots are already pre-inserted in our pants. Uh -huh. The reason for that is because if we get a call, we have 60 seconds to get everything on and on the fire engine and out the door. 60 seconds to get all your gear on and get on the engine and, and ready to go. Wow. So this is one of the first things we learn in the basic fire academy is get your stuff on and get ready to respond because time here is less time out there. Okay. We're going to slip into our boots. Most people do it one leg at a time. Let's pull up on there. Make sure everything's Velcroed, buttoned, zipped up. Okay. Velcroed. There's a snap. There's a Velcro and whatever this is. Clamp. All right. Just make sure it doesn't fall down. We have suspenders. Let me help you out with suspenders. Look at that, man. We're showing the uh, there you go. ability to be there for each other. Okay, now in your pocket, you also have a flash hood. 
And this is gonna save your neck. We're gonna put this over here, like so. Okay. What you're gonna do is grab your jacket. Like, there's your jacket, yeah. your helmet. Yeah, that's the helmet. See, here for each other again. You're, you're, wow, you that is a heavy back. jacket. You have some weights in here? Um, we have nothing in there, actually. Nothing in there, Once wow. you tool up, it'll actually get heavier. So you're gonna put this on. Wow. Now these, you're gonna stick your fingers in there. This is gonna protect your wrist. Again, we want no skin exposure. Okay. And zip up. Wow. Really? <laughs> that sounds easy. Oh boy. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day, isn't it? There you go. Thank, Thank you, you, partner. <laughs> and this is gonna save the most important part of your body, your head. Your head, okay. So. All right, Joel, now that we got all our safety gear on, this is not gonna make us invincible. It's just gonna protect us a little bit from the thermal, uh, give us a little bit thermal protection. Thermal protection means something that is cold, thermo is cold. So you're trying to protect yourself against heat, maybe. Something that protects you from like extreme temperatures. Policeman. <laughs> protection from heat or fire. It's the, uh firefighters wear that uh, protects them from uh, dangerous heat. So what, what are we actually doing? <laughs> well, I mean, no one's really told me a whole lot about what I'm doing except I'm geared up. There's not much I'm going to tell you because <laughs> on, any given, on any given day you don't know what calls you're going to, you don't know what emergencies you're going to, you just know that somebody's having a bad day and you're there to help them out. So really, we don't know, right? <laughs> we don't know. You wow. just got to be prepared. Okay. All right. All right. So we ready? We're ready. All right. Go. Let's go. Was it? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. I missed that. Look at that. I wasn't there for you already. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Wait, wait. Ready? We're gonna uh, go. We're not. No, no. 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 It's, oh, that's not good. Firefight. Oh, cool. oh, okay. So there we go. How about? Wait, wait, wait. I got one for you. Okay. Get. It's, it's, it's the water. It's the water. It's the water thing. It's like you know the water. All right. Here's your fun fact. Remember, if there's an emergency or you see a fire, don't forget to call 911. Be sure to know your address or the location you're at. Now, when you're in the confidence course, it's just like a smoked out room. You can't see anything, so you have to feel your way through. Mm -hmm. So you're on your hands and knees because you want to be below the smoke and the heat. So you're going to reach out in front of you and feel what's in front of you. You're going to follow your hose line and your, your rope line. What we are simulating here is a lost firefighter. Okay. And it's to give you the confidence to get yourself out. It's a safety course. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we blank out your mask <laughs> with a piece of plastic so you cannot see. And then we put this on top of it so it's dark. <laughs> now, Captain C, I haven't been in here. I have no idea what's in here. And now you're, you're blanking me out so I, just, I have no idea when I'm in there, what's in there. Every firefighter has to go through this to show that they're not gonna panic when they can't see. So I'm gonna end up putting this on and I can only breathe out of this once I put that on. Right. Wow. You have 30 minutes of air, but it never lasts that long because you get excited <laughs> and you breathe fast, you yeah. get about 15 minutes air time. So why don't you make them like a 45 minute tank and they last half hour? How heavy is your pack right now? Okay, all right, I get it. All right. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. So this is why we have to be in shape. You normally have to like, you know, put the helmet, put Put the gear on for the other firefighters? No, not usually. This, this yeah, is they're it. usually pretty good at it. This is a special circumstance here. By the time you get there. But, but, but as a partner, I'm going to make sure you're safe. Okay, one last piece. Okay, now you're breathing. Mike's going to take you through the course. He'll be right with you the whole time. All right. All I need you to do now is get down on your knees and follow the hose line. Mike, get down on your door. knees. Yes, sir. I'm on it. All right. This yes, is your hose. hose. All right. You're going to go in and look for your downed firefighter co-worker. You ready? You're yeah. going through the door. Okay. Keep your hand on the hose and follow it in. There's another line here. Let's continue on the same one. Okay, continue on the same one. He's going to be off a rope line, so once you hit a rope, you want to follow the rope. I found the rope. There's your rope. I found the rope. Follow it up. Follow it up? Oh, wow. Doing good. Oh, I'm backwards. You're doing good. Oh, whoa. whoa. You simulated a floor collapse. You went through the floor. Okay. Get yourself oriented. 
Okay, what you need to do is you went through the floor. Now you need to rescue yourself. So follow this hose that you're touching right now. You want to get out of the building now because you just went right through the floor. Okay. You're doing good. Can't go anywhere, you might be tr stuck on some wires. Okay. So if you've got entangled in wires, what are you gonna do? Um, get out. Good, you're gonna get low, you're gonna back out. You're gonna do the swim move and try to in disentangle yourself. Keep following the hose line, you're doing good. I feel like the hose is going in a circle. There's a roof collapse. Oh, a God. roof had just collapsed on you. What are you going to do, Joel? I'm going to call for help. Okay, you're going to call for help with your radio? Yes. And then what else are you going to try to do? And then I'm going to try to try to get out of this, I guess. Try to get out of it, right? Yes. Okay, good. So now you've alerted for help. I've alerted for help. The firefighters have come and they've gotten you, they've gotten all the obstacles and debris off you. Good. Okay. Continue yourself out. Mark three fire copies in one trap and eight for each for the brief. Uh-uh. Joel, what you've hit right now is a narrow hallway or an enclosure you need to get through. Uh-huh. If you can't squeeze through, what we do is we try to lower our profile by taking off our breathing bottle and really? push it in front of us. So what you'll do is you'll, like that seatbelt you had put on, you're going to take that off. Okay. Take your arms out of your straps. Oh, wow. You try not to pull too hard. Right. Okay, so hold on to your bottle here. Okay. And carry it in front of you as you crawl through this enclosure. Oh, my but don't push it too far because you don't want to pull the mask off your face. Okay. How far is too far? Wow. Okay. Wow. You're doing good. Okay. Oh my goodness. There you go. Wow. Am I, oh. Am I through? No. I'm Keep getting, working at I'm it. I'm hung up back here. There we go. There you go. I think I'm through. Okay. Okay, good. So now instead of pushing it, just put one strap or two straps over one shoulder and get, get on out of here. You're in trouble. Okay. Follow the hose. Make sure you stay with the correct hose. Okay. You're doing good, Joel. You're almost there. Uh -huh. Good, you reached outside and you reached safety. Good job, Joel, you saved yourself. What does a firefighter encounter? Lots of fires and disaster. Fires. From the uh, rescuing a uh, cat out of a tree to a uh, four alarm fire, uh, fire uh, in uh, cars, uh, flood, flood situations like you see on the news. Fires and I don't know what to do in this right time, but mostly fires, I guess. Like forest fires, you know, California. Can I take my helmet off now? Yes, you can. Uh, I can actually see now. Wow. Whew. Can I rest? Talk about appreciation. I, I could not see a thing. I'm, I feel like I'm breathing really hard, running into things. But that's... That's real life. That's real life right there. Wow. Well, I understand why you do these simulations then, so that when you do it in real life, it doesn't take as long as it took me, right? <laughs> was that that's a long why we time? do it. That was a long time, right? You did good for the first time. <laughs> you did pretty good. You Translation, had, that uh, was a long time. <laughs> about five minutes of air left. Most firefighters get through it on about a half a tank. So they they practiced enough that they know how to do it. Yeah. So you did really well. Uh, we're going to go on to the next thing, and Mike's going to go right in there with you. Oh, we're partners. And, All right. Uh, this time it'll be the real thing. It'll be heat, smoke, water, and hose. Can I get a drink of water first? Um, or, uh, I guess. <laughs> Well, if you'd really need one. If I really need one. Well, but, but you know what, you, you wouldn't. You wouldn't have time, right? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Okay. All right, well, I'm following you then. All right, ready? All right, yeah.